Lyle and Eric Menendez could be free very soon. I feel they paid their debt to society. What do you think? They were in jail. I, I think when they committed the crime, the, the murder of their parents, what, what was, Lyle was 21. Eric was 18. Now Lyle is 56. Eric is 53. You know, to be in jail, a life sentence without no parole. That's a harsh, harsh, you know, sentencing. And I really believe that if they had the evidence today that they had back then when they when they were first convicted, I, I don't think they would have gotten life with no parole. These poor boys, it looks like they were abused. It, with the new evidence that's out, you know, you know, the letter written to the what was it, the cousin Andy, the uh, Menudo, you know, the band that uh, one of the uh, members was uh, claiming that he was sexually abused by the Menendez uh, father. You know, I think that, uh, I think it'd be a whole different case now. I think that there'd there a lot of sympathy, there'd be a lot of empathy for those for those two young men. They're not young now, now they're 56. They're not too old though. I feel old, I'm 47, but they still got a lot of life ahead of them. Um, a lot of people keep asking if there's any money left in their estate. There, I don't think there is because of the uh, large amount of legal costs. But even if there was, I think that California has a, a rule. It's like it's called the Slayer Cause, I believe, that they, you, anyone who commits like a violent crime, you know, with intent of getting an inheritance cannot touch any of the money. But here's the good news. These kids are superstars. There's, well, I keep calling them kids. They're grown adults. Right? <laughs> They're superstars. They are superstars. I mean, you got Kim Kardashian talking about them. The whole world's talking. Everyone's talking about them. So something is telling me they're going to be all right financially. I think that, you know, I'm not exactly sure if they could make money. I don't know how it works, if they wrote a book or anything. Like that. I don't know how that would work. But I, I think just themselves alone, they, they, they're going to, you know, they, they're going to be huge. They could, they could write a book about their own lives. I'm not sure if they could write a book about, about the crimes and all that stuff, but they've been doing so many documentaries anyway. I wonder if they even get paid on them. I'm not sure. They've done so many things, you know. I don't know if they made any money on that Netflix, Monsters, but I'm sure they're going to make a lot of money. I'm sure that they're celebrities. Dude. I think everyone wants to see them freed. What is your opinion? Do you feel that they have served enough time? You know, you have to have a heart, too, for what they've been through. You know, you think about how anyone re would uh, react in a situation like that. They were being abused, you know. So God bless them. I feel they paid their debt to society. I feel they should be freed. What do you feel? Video is not financial advice, not a financial planner, not a politician, not yet, not political advice. But I am the greatest entertainer who has ever lived on planet Earth and the entire universe. The one, the only, a father in a house, baby. Wow!